Ellington was on the road in Reno, Nevada on May 31st, 1967, when he got a telephone call. Billy Strayhorn, his close friend and co-composer for nearly 30 years, was dead of cancer. Ellington fell silent. Someone asked him if he was going to be all right. No, I'm not going to be all right, Ellington answered. Nothing is all right now. On April 29, 1969, almost two years after Strayhorn's death, Duke Ellington turned 70, and President Richard Nixon paid official tribute to him at the White House. The President of the United States of America awards this Presidential Medal of Freedom to Edward Kennedy Ellington. In the royalty of American music, no man swings more or stands higher than the Duke. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we speak of freedom of expression. We speak of freedom generally as being something very sweet and fat and, and things like that. And, but at the end, when we get down to the payoff, what we actually say is that, uh, we would like very much to mention the four major freedoms that my friend and uh, writing and arranging component, composer Billy Strayhorn lived by and enjoyed. And that was freedom from hate unconditionally, freedom from self-pity, freedom from fear of possibly doing something that may help someone else more than it would him, <laughs> and freedom from the kind of pride that could make a man feel that he is better than his brother. Ellington kissed the president four times. When Nixon asked him why, Ellington replied, one for each cheek. <laughs> 